We're looking at another function where we use the Riemann sum. Um, we had five seven intervals, which is pretty good. The higher the number, the better the answer. And we got 788 if we approach it from the left and about 1146 if we approach it from the right. Now let's find the perfect answer for the net area under this curve by taking the antiderivative of x to the third. Three plus one is four, so we're gonna have one over four x to the four. We're not gonna have a plus c this time. We're gonna have an evaluation bar from four to eight. So I'm gonna have one fourth of eight to the fourth, plugging in my upper bound, minus one fourth of my lower bound, four to the fourth, and seeing what I get into my calculator. Another way to plug this in a little bit faster is to keep the one fourth outside since it is just one factor. We could factor it out and plug in this way. We would put one fourth in parentheses on our calculator, and then eight to the fourth minus four to the fourth gives you 960. So we were not very close with either answer, but that is the exact answer for the net area under the curve. Net means that the area could be negative um, if it was under the x-axis, or it could be zero if there was an equal amount above and below the x-axis. That's the difference between net area and area. So we're gonna see with some integrals, we might get a negative answer in the future. That just means more area was under the x-axis than above.